In this video we share Our Lady's message to Father Stefano Gobi on Satan breaking loose. Message from Our Lady to Father Gobi from February 22, 1996, Cusco, Peru. My little son, how wearying is this journey, which I am asking you to make through 13 countries and in 52 cities, in order to hold wonderful cenacles with the priests and faithful of my movement. Today you find yourself here, in this city, situated at an altitude of almost 4,000 meters, 13,000 feet, in the midst of the great Peruvian Andes range. And, with a great cenacle held in the stadium, you are celebrating the feast of the chair of Saint Peter. Jesus has founded his church upon the solid rock of the Apostle Peter. To Peter, Jesus has given the task of being the foundation of the church and of safeguarding all her truth. For Peter, Jesus has prayed, that his faith might remain intact throughout the whole course of human history. To Peter, he has given the sure guarantee of his victory, the powers of hell will not prevail. The powers of hell will not prevail. The task entrusted to Peter is handed down to his successors. Thus, the Pope becomes today the foundation upon which the Church is built, the center where there converge her charity and assurance to ever maintain intact the deposit of faith. The powers of hell will not prevail, despite the fact that Satan has broken loose, sowing divisions and schisms, these deep wounds which have shattered the unity of the Church, the mystical body of my Son, Jesus. All the various Christian confessions, which in the course of the centuries have separated themselves from the Catholic Church, represent a victory of the adversary against the unity of the Church, that unity willed by Christ and ardently implored of the Father. And now the effort is being made to rectify all these errors by walking the path of reconciliation and ecumenism. However, the coming together of all the Christian confessions in the Catholic Church will take place with the triumph of my Immaculate Heart in the world. The powers of hell will not prevail, despite the fact that my adversary has broken loose in order to bring you to a breakdown of charity. For this, he launches a strong attack on the Pope, who presides over all the charity of the Church. And so, division has entered into her very own structure. Above all in the division which often sets bishops against bishops, priests against priests, faithful against faithful, Satan has succeeded in building up his triumph. But the powers of hell will not prevail, because, after the painful period of the purification and the great tribulation, the Church will shine forth in all her light of charity, of unity and of holiness. And this will be one of the greatest benefits which my motherly love will bring to the Church. The powers of hell will not prevail, even if now they have reached the point of contesting the Pope, of opposing him openly and of rejecting his magisterium. Thus, errors are being spread about which draw many away from the true faith, and sects are being propagated which draw to themselves many children of the Church. Never, as in Latin America, has the great spread of the sects represented such a victory on the part of the powers of hell, who appear to have the upper hand. But I am calling all my children to the greatest fidelity to the Catholic Church, I am instilling in them a love for the Church, zeal for her unity, passion for her holiness, and strength for her work of evangelization. And thus, through those who are consecrating themselves to my Immaculate Heart, I am bringing to nothing all the effort which Satan is exerting, in his attempt to draw many of my children away from the one and only Church instituted by my Son, Jesus. And by means of my extraordinary and motherly intervention, once again, the powers of hell will not prevail. The power of Christ will be revealed, when he brings his reign of glory into the Church, and then all the powers of hell will be imprisoned, so that they will no longer be able to do any more harm in the world. Then the Holy Church of God will be able to pour out upon all the nations of the earth the greatest splendor of her truth and her holiness. Our Lady's messages from July 1973 to December 1997, through locutions to Father Stefano Gobi, were published in the book, To the Priests, Our Lady's Beloved Sons, which has received the imprimatur of three cardinals and many archbishops and bishops worldwide. His testimony and the locutions he received from Our Lady continue to guide generations of souls. Father Gobi died on June 29, 2011. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.